Not that it's very freaking difficult at this point, but there's a new first-person shooter that's coming out that may actually be trying to rival Battlefield. Stay tuned to see what it is. So I spent a few days playing BattleBit in its closed beta, and yes, as you can see on the screen, it looks like fucking Minecraft and Roblox meets Black Hawk Down. And I get this low poly shit ain't gonna be for everyone. But honestly, there's a solid first person shooter here. The guns and the recoil are actually pretty legit. The time to kill is fast and there's 200 player servers. It's a bit too much for me, as there's literally people fucking everywhere. However, there are lower populated servers for people like me who want a chance to spawn before I'm sniped by some Roblox looking motherfucker. The environment is fully destructible and most classes, yes, actual fucking classes that Battlefield has seemed to have forgotten about, most classes come with a sledgehammer which lets you smash through any wall and this opens up different ways to play. The destruction, however, can be a little chaotic and with 200 players on a map, you can imagine the fire fights get a little bit OTT. I prefer, like I said, the smaller player counts because it gives you more of a chance to move around the map without getting slotted from your left, from your front, or from your rear. There's also full weapon customization from the stocks to canted sights to flashlights. It's, it's, it's got the works. And you can see there's even detailed bullet drop for each weapon. You can also customize your soldier. There's unlocks for all of this, uh, be it weapons or your character, just by playing the game and leveling up. The game also features vehicles, from quads to tanks, and with its fully destructive environment, does actually make for quite a good laugh. Now, I know this may not look like Battlefield. It, 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 let's face it, it's not as pretty, I get that. With its low poly graphics, but it's actually been in the works for some time. They've put effort into this, and there's a lot, it's, it's in depth, there's a lot into it. But with the classes, the, the solid fucking gunplay, customization, vehicles, destructive environments, and fucking wait for this one, this game has a scoreboard. Battlefield's only just getting their first real scoreboard after three fucking months. I mean, it's a basic thing, right? And, sorry, phase one of the scoreboard for Battlefield. I have no idea how they can't just make a fucking scoreboard, um, but, but here we go. So people that were disappointed with Battlefield may find this actually quite fun. It even surpassed Battlefield's play count on the 19th of January by 400 players. Now, that is pretty ridiculous for a game in a closed beta that looks like this, that not a lot of people have heard of, compared to a AAA release game like Battlefield. <laughs> It's, it fucking, the mind boggles, you know? There's also uh, map votes at the end. So at the end of each uh, game, you'll all get to vote on a map, uh, and that can come with day and night options as well. And the way they've done unlocks in the game, it's, you know what, it actually makes it a pretty fun way to play. And I think it will make you want to come back and play some more. Now, this will actually be releasing into early access uh, in the near future, actually. The closed beta is now over, I believe, so unfortunately your time to give it a go is gone, but there's plenty of videos up online for you to see if it tickles your fancy. The development team has said they will stay in early access for two to three years, which is probably fair because there's still a lot of work to do on this game and most developers that go into early access say they're gonna be there for six months and they're gonna come out with some AAA looking game. Well, these developers seem to have a little bit more realism to, to their development. That's all for this, right? I'm gonna, I'm just throwing it out there. It's a random game, I know, but let me know what you think about Battlebit. Can you get past the low poly texture look? Or do you like it? Drop your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Here comes.